doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. Got an unboxing for you here today. I just got it in yesterday. I've been waiting for it to come in. Uh, it's something I ordered probably about a month ago. It was uh, from someone I follow on Instagram and YouTube. It's Peter McKinnon. He's been doing some things uh, with his branding of the uh, Fly the Flag, which is a pirate uh, little scenario that he does. So I got the pen that he was uh, putting out on his Instagram page. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and show you what it is. It's brought to you by the people of Biggie Design. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, it's a pretty nice little box that has that little pirate logo that uh, Pete carries on his Instagram page. It says inside this pen can seamlessly transform any in length depending on refill that you put inside. Very similar to the one that I've reviewed before by Biggie Design. That was the T uh, Titanium Ardo EDC pen. Really like using this. I can use any refill in it. I'll leave a link up above uh, so you can look at that of my previous review of the EDC pen. But uh, as a little brochure inside, it's all about the patina, and I'll show you what that is about in a second. Got a little sticker from Fly the Flag, and also got a sticker from Biggie Design, and then they give you a little spare parts. You got a little uh, couple O-rings, little spring in there, and then deep inside the packaging of that little black box. Let me see if I can unwrap this without making too much noise. I'll just slide it right out. And there you have it. I got the copper version. They do also have a brass version out there. Uh, I'll leave a link to the pen that itself. They're doing pre-orders for the copper and the brass, although they will not have, if you can see it on the clip, the little pirate decal that uh, Peter McKinnon does put on there for him. But it's a uh, very nice weight to it. It's got a nice copper finish, satin finish. It's got the uh, little ribs here in the grip area so you can hold on to it. And I'll compare it to, in a second to mine. It does have a refill in there, so we're all ready to go. So I'll just screw that back on there. And this one does have, like I said, a little refill in there. It's going to be a little short for my hands, so bigger hands that may not fit as well. But this does take any length of refill, so it is accommodating to several lengths of refills that you may want to put in there. Very similar to my titanium one with the black uh, matte design that I have. This one is also uh, able to take any refill that you want to put in there. That one posts on the back of it, the cap posts on the back of the pen, like that one. This one here is just the twist, easy twist doesn't make any noise very smooth operation on it it's got the little black titanium clip on there with the uh, pirate logo like I did say overall let's see if you can see this is with it posted compared to my other titanium pen so it's a little bit shorter the pen is out so it's a little more practical for a pocket carry probably EDC so I'll probably use that one but let me recap this one here the Biggie Design EDC Titanium. So that is its original size. So pretty much about the same in size. Once you get the pen part out, let me go back. Once you get the pen part out, so you're ready to write. So it is from top to bottom, just a little bit shorter. So if you do have larger hands, you might have trouble working with this one is uh, but as far as holding it or so but it's not too bad it's got a really nice weight to it uh, they always do a good job that's why I wanted to pick up this one when Peter uh, decided to do a branding uh, with Biggie Design I knew they did have a good quality product because I have picked up one of their titanium ones previously so this may be uh, my next new uh, EDC that I carry uh, it's going to not stay that copper finish forever, as they say on this little card here. It's all about the patina, so it's going to, from wear and use and everything, it's going to get it the darker look to it and everything. But right now it's got that really nice copper look to it. Very pretty. Very handsome uh, pen. Let me see if I can take the little tip off here. And I'll just write on here for right now. I just want to give it a quick test. 
it's got the roller ball in there pretty smooth writing and like I said any refill I could probably take the refill that I've been using in this one pop it in this it's all a matter of taking out the piece taking out the refill switching out the refill from the other pen putting it in here putting the spring on there like I said they do give you extra parts the extra grommets or the uh, o-rings are for there to keep it sealed when you've got it rolling down and twist it on so you just go right to the tip there and it's pretty much a nice EDC pen this one's skipping a little bit it could be the paper that I have but I didn't grab any uh, practice paper to be writing with I just wanted to bring you a quick unboxing of this guy from uh, Peter McKinnon fly the flag also Biggie Design great workmanship and the products that they produce keep up the good work and I'll, like I said I'll leave a link down below hope you enjoyed this little unboxing revealing of the Peter McKinnon fly the flag Biggie Design copper like I said they also have the brass you may he may be bringing back the fly the flag so I'll give you a link down to his uh, Instagram post so you can follow along as long as you don't steal something that I want to grab before I can get it but uh, maybe he'll bring this back otherwise you can still pick up the uh, brass and the copper on the, the Biggie Design website they're going through pre-orders now and we'll see what we can do so keep your EDC's with you guys keep carrying on knives pens whatever it might be hope you enjoyed this little uh, unboxing and reveal of the fly the flag pen by Peter McKinnon and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.